It's Jimmy Anderson of Alton Bark and a franchise T20 career. Finally, at the ripe old age of 42 years old, we'll have to wait and see. Eh? Apparently, he's been tapped up by MLC, that's Major League Cricket in the US, to be played for one of their franchise next summer. That would be fantastic, I think. I, there's a couple of things, obviously, to discuss here with Johnson kind of entering this kind of T20 circuit. Uh, you know, I mean, whilst he's maintained his level of fitness, we've seen that he's always kept himself in shape. He is being played by injuries now, and you know, uh, a lot more frequently. And at 42 years old, I can tell you, it's no surprise. He's older than me. And I can tell you, it's not easy to get up in the mornings anymore. That used to be 10 years ago. Anyway, I, I do feel like that would do anything that would stop him from playing a franchise cricket is his body thinks he can hold up. That being said, in a truncated 20 game, even play a bit of T10, we saw recently the likes of David Warner and Alex Hales turning out the sides in the Cayman Islands in that competition. But, you know, a bit of T10, who knows? He could do that. Uh, I still feel he could do a job. I think we saw him in the last first class game a few weeks ago, well, a few months ago now, prior to that first test against West Indies. I took him seven for it. Nelson looks fantastic at that game. He's still got something to give. And I think in a, a short form of the game, I think he could crank up potentially as well. Because he's going to four rows, he knows he's going to go four rows to bowl. But a new ball in the right conditions, he could be a handful. We saw Ollie Robinson this, this summer in the Vitality Plus Sussex showing that you don't have to be an, an 85, 90 mile hour to have an effect in the power play. So I do think he got something to offer. I think also that he'd be a little bit irked as much as he's professional and he was very courteous towards England management and Ben Stokes. The fact that, he, you know, key. Stokes and McCullum all met with him in the Manchester Hotel to tell him that, you know, he's no longer you know, wanted for England, for England. I think it would have hurt him. I think he knows. I think he's a very proud, I think, borderline arrogant guy, to be honest. And I think that he will know that he has got something to give still in for some, some team out there. And with so much T20 French cricket on offer, I mean, SLPL, BPL, I'm not sure he would want to go to, like, Bangladesh or like that, all due respect. Sri Lanka, but you know, I don't see why I mean, MLC obviously a bit stint out there in America during some holidays with his wife and kids. Why not? Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, I think anyone else would love to do that, but you could play maybe SA20 potentially, you know, the year after. It all depends really. I think what will happen is here is that because his body, you're not sure if it will hold up. I think he'll do, you know, maybe a year on the merry-go-round and earn some money as well. Why doesn't he? Why shouldn't he go out there and try and see what's on offer, what's out there, you know, speak to his agent, see to any lucrative. And kind of uh, attractive gigs out there for him to make some money, you know what I mean? You're a long time retired. The guy, whilst he's 42, he's still only 42, right? So there's no reason why. Because he's missed out in all this T20 franchise money because of England. You know, he was retired from the whiteboard game in 2015. I don't think he's played T20 since 2014. So that's a long time to call it out. You know, he's seen all these guys all, over the last 15 years make all this money. Starting with Flintstone and Peterson back in 2009, the IPL. He's seen all this, all these people make all this money. And don't get me wrong, he's been a fat bumper contract in ECB. However, he has missed out on the additional monies when he could have played because he's not been playing white ball for England. So I, I do feel like he'll, part of him will have something to prove to some of the naysayers. But I won't begrudge him in the slides. I think you should go out there, go and see what's out there. I mean, get, you know, two or three T20 gigs next year, then why not? Like I said, he can, I think he can still do a job in the power play. He can bowl half yard quicker than Lloyd Robinson. I mean, if he played the 100 next summer, for Manchester Originals, do you think it'd be a, that would absolutely attract people. Him in coloured clothing, I think that would definitely bring through people, young and old, because he's got, he's got such a massive status at home. So I think it would only be a good thing for the 100 competition if they can get him in to one of the franchises, ideally Manchester Originals, obviously. So, yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there. Let's see what happens. I personally am in favour. I hope he gets, you know, explores the options. He owes nothing to England. He owes England absolutely nothing. You know, forget all that coaching stuff. They want him, they can wait a year or two. Do you know what I mean? Let the guy crack on. So, yeah, listen, probably in Tambay played in the IPL, what, 47? Granted, he's a spinner. But he was, I think, 47 years old, and there's been plenty of other players in the 40s who have played in cricket. It's still playing now. Do you know what I mean? I mean, is he any less fit than David Visser, for example, who's 39? I'm trying to think of else right now, but I know there's plenty. But anyway, I'll leave it there. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.